You're crazy. Good morning, Modern Setters. It's Friday, and Friday is Modern Setter Update. Tell you what, we've been having some crazy weather here at Lumna Acres the last all winter, but the last couple of days have been nuts. It's been cold, warmed up yesterday to about 40 degrees. We got around an inch of rain. This morning I woke up at 4.30. It was 30 degrees out. <sighs> now it's 24 degrees, and it's supposed to drop down to 18 by 8 a.m. Crazy. We gotta stop the wood stove. Where you're living, I don't know if you've been having crazy weather this winter or not, but huh. So hard to figure out anything. What do you gotta do for your driveway? How to keep your house heated? You don't want to have it too hot. You don't want to have it too cold. If you haven't had a chance to see yesterday's tool video, I'll put a link to that video right here. But I shared the tools we got to replace the drill that broke on me. And I'll tell you what, I've been loving them. I've been putting them through their paces at work. They've been holding up. Very happy with my purchase so far. We are at 18,500 subscribers. Another 1,500 subscribers and we'll be giving away a chicken plucker. This is the tool kit we got. And I've been very impressed with it. The batteries have been amazing. And I'm very happy with the skill saw. Our fodder's doing meh. I think, I think the fodder's our problem right now. It's 70 degrees, 70 plus degrees in the basement with between 40 and 50 percent humidity. So I think the fodder's just drying out way too fast. So I'm thinking I'm gonna hold off on doing too much more experimenting until we're done running the wood stove. We started our celery seeds just the other day. Looking forward to those starting to sprout. We got 32 of them started for now. We'll see how they do. Celery always seems like it's a hard one to start. If you have any tips or tricks for starting celery and growing celery, leave it in the comments down below. We'd really appreciate it. Still waiting to do some more painting on our crates, but they're looking good. I'm happy with them so far. Our concrete, I gotta sand that. Hopefully this weekend I'll get sanding the concrete desktop and then I can build. Over here are the boards. We're gonna be building our cabinet out of for our file drawers for the desk project. I cut those boards up with our new circular saw. I'll put a link to that video right here. But we're letting them dry out. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day I can stop building our cabinet. The root cellar is still doing awesome. The copa and prosciutto are curing nicely. Oh, it looks nice. It's amazing how flat that prosciutto is getting. It is drying out awesome. The potatoes are storing nice. It's warmed up to 45 degrees. Had the vents open. But yesterday it was 41 degrees out, so I'm happy with that. We got a big batch of kombucha that we brewed all bottled up, storing in here. More of our seed starter. Oh, I'm getting antsy for starting all of our seeds for the garden. Oh, those look so good. In the middle of April, we're going to be doing a three-day pasture-to-plate whole hog culinary class with Andy and Doug from Hand Hewn Farm. If you want to find out more about that class or purchase tickets to come, I'll put a link here and in the description down below. We're only having eight tickets available and we've already sold. What are you two doing? Uh-uh, back up. That's the culprit and prosciutto is not for you. What are you doing, Figaro? You got your head stuck? Crazy. Crazy, crazy. 
at the cat climbing up the carpet. We're going to be building a new chicken brooder and I picked up some hardware cloth because we're going to need to keep this guy out of the chicks. We don't want him eating them when we start them. Yeah, talking about you. So I got an idea for a chick brooder designed that'll be module. That's one part of it. I picked up some other stuff there and a sheet of plywood so far. We were sent a cool bot to try in our root cellar. If you don't know what that is, this is going to be a fun project to do with our root cellar. Just got that in the mail yesterday. That's what it is. If you don't know what it does, I'm not going to tell you just yet. Got a nice bucket full of food for the piggies. Our bread that we made for sandwich bread has worked out awesome. It tastes and is just like Panera Bread's country white bread. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. The next thing I want to try is trying to make this recipe into a whole wheat bread. That'd be good too. So we got some more tweaking to do, but I'm happy with it so far. The sprouts are coming along nicely. Happy with those so far. I think the alfalfa will be ready first. Seems to be sprouting a little bit more. Speaking of sprouting and stuff doing well, let's check on our sauerkraut and see how that's fermenting. We got that up in the corner. It's looking good. It's nice dark and purple. Leave that there for another week or so. That sauerkraut's gonna be delicious to try. You ready to go outside? Is that what you're telling me? Come on, Al. Let's go do the chickens and the pigs. I wanna go run. an inch of rain so what that does is turns it all to slush and then it freezes and you get ice chunks and uh, it's gonna make for a rough road and driveway this morning let's get the water going before we give the pigs their food scraps Better give the pigs their food first. Otherwise, Pluto will be up there eating out of the bucket. Good morning, girls. Everything's frozen. The gate was frozen in the ground with all that rain. Man. Mm -mm -mm. Does that look delicious to you girls or what? You're in hog heaven. Oh man, the water fell off of the and it's making a mess. There. 
always something. Pluto, what are you doing? You're crazy. You're crazy. We got an egg. All right. <laughs> well, this hasn't happened very often lately that the water stays defrosted overnight. Let's go check on the pigs and give them some water again. Let me show you what the road's gonna look like today. And this is after I plowed it. I plowed off at least three inches of slush yesterday. I didn't touch the driveway, so if I didn't plow the road, this is how the road would all been. This is how it looks after being plowed. Rain in the winter time is not fun. <sighs> Dog's crazy, I tell you. Just crazy. She loves to run. It's kind of cold out this morning. I had to put my flaps down on my hat. The tips of my ears are getting a little chilly. Huh, I spoiled yesterday with the 41 degree weather. Even though it was raining, it still felt nice. Today we're gonna be finishing setting our trusses outside on the house. So that'll be fun. Be a little cold and windy, but we'll get her done. Be a good day to keep putting the DeWalt tools to the test and see how the batteries do in the cold. What do you girls think, huh? You enjoying all that leftovers? See? When we eat a bunch of whole foods, our animals benefit from it too. And then we'll benefit it, and then we'll benefit from it again. It's a win-win. On the bright side, with all this bad weather we've been having this winter, the pigs have been locked up in their 16 by 16 foot pen. And pigs, they get a bad rap. You girls get a bad rap when you shouldn't. They are very clean animals. This is their poop pile. This is their outhouse. So come springtime, I'll be able to knock down the T-posts, take the cattle panels off, come in here with the Kubota, and just get all that manure and compost it. That's gonna be great for our garden after it's all composted. So thank you ladies, thank you.
there's always a bright side to everything. Sometimes you just have to look a little bit harder than others. There's Pluto waiting for us. You can't smell it, but that smell of the wood burning coming out of that chimney smells so good. I love the smell of a wood fire. Right, Pluto? Careful on the ice. The outdoor kitchen lies waiting for the three-day pasture to plate whole hog culinary class. This is where we're gonna host the class. We got our 23 gallon stock pot for making bone broth. That's gonna be awesome. We got our grill so we can be grilling and cooking right on our flat top grill. This thing is awesome. Thank you, Camp Chef. They make a great grill. I can't wait till we'll be out here and using the outdoor kitchen again once the weather changes. Dreaming of warmer days when we can slide open our window and slide open the doors. Ho oh, oh. ho. I'm looking forward to working more on our concrete desk project, getting our chicken brooder built, getting some new chicks here, starting the garden. Oh, I just can't wait. So exciting. So much fun things to look forward to. What are you guys planning for your homestead this year? Or what are you planning to learn new this year? Leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.